Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have been off for the last two weeks, don't know if you noticed, but I was taking a little break, but now we are back and we're on the floor of my bedroom because I want to show you this. So imagine that this video is a bookshelf tour and a book TBR in one, except it's about sex toys. So I'm gonna do a sex toy collection storage tour and a sex toy TBR. But TBR isn't to be read, it's like to be ridden, to be rode, to be rogered. <laughs> if anyone has any better versions of what the R could stand for in a sex toy TBR, please let me know. But basically, months ago, I got my sex toy storage solution. And this is something that I have been thinking about and trying to figure out for years maybe. One of the perks of my job is that I get sent a lot of sex toys. And so I just wanna make that disclaimer now, like the vast majority of these I have not paid for. They have been sent to me either as a gifting thing or as part of a um, sponsorship or brand deal I was doing with that company. So I don't want you to look at this collection and think, oh my God, that's what I should have. Because no, I'm a complete anomaly. Like think of this as like, if you were a makeup artist, like think about how much makeup a makeup artist owns, right? Like it's an insane collection that they have, but you're just your average person who maybe does their makeup once a week when they're filming a video, I don't need that much makeup. Granted, if you're a sex toy connoisseur and you just like really love sex toys, maybe you have like an even bigger collection than me. But I just wanted to put that out there before <laughs> showing you all of these sex toys. Because I will say that like, if it wasn't my job, I probably wouldn't have this many, but it is my job. And I very much enjoy this part of my job. So before I got this, I basically just had a massive plastic box that was under the bed and it was just piled full of sex toys. You may remember it from my Marie Kondoing my sex toys video. And it just wasn't the one, it wasn't sexy, it wasn't inviting. And also I just couldn't see everything because everything was like piled on top of things. Isn't that like the Marie Kondo method as well? Like you need to be able to like see everything you own, like nothing like covering other things. Cause then you just like forget it's there, right? sad. So I was trying to find better ways to store my sex toys and searching for sex toy storage on Pinterest um, is not the one. Like there's not a huge amount of content out there for what I was looking for. I thought about getting like a back of the door shoe hanger, you know, like one of those like plastic clear or fabric things and you put shoes in it, but instead of put sex toys in it, I was like, oh, it can go on the back of the, the bathroom door. But Dan vetoed that, <laughs> you know, cause he lives here too, it's fine. And then another thing that I came across that I was like, oh, that would be perfect, was a, like a jewelry closet. Have you seen these? Like, they look so cool. I found one that was like a standing mirror or it could like go up on a wall and it has all of these different like compartments for different jewelry and stuff. But obviously jewelry is a lot smaller than sex toys, but essentially I want a jewelry closet for sex toys. Maybe I'm gonna have to be the inventor of that. Or maybe I won't because it's, that sounds hard. <laughs> so someone else can take that idea and run with it. Or somebody who knows what they're doing when it comes to furniture design and making products and a real business, a real business, lol. Get in touch with me and maybe we can uh, work something out. Anyway, that's my business proposition for the video. So eventually the solution that I came to to fix my sex toy storage needs in the present. I feel like this still might get like updated and renovated and like over the years, who knows, is a bench. So this is just a bench from Ikea and it opens up, da 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 da, very exciting, I'll show you in a second. And it works real nice in the bedroom. It doesn't feel out of place or anything. And then inside is just a literal pleasure trove. <laughs> See what I did there? Did you see what I did there? Some people are like, what the fuck? I'm, I have a series called Pleasure Trove and now I just have to explain the joke so it's not funny anymore. I didn't film this part, but I did clear out that massive plastic 
box, it turns out I was holding onto a lot of expired lubes. The condoms that I have are all still in date though, miraculously. Like, not that we're using them at the moment because we're trying to conceive, but might as well hold on to them because you never know who's gonna need them. Maybe one day we'll have a house party and someone other than me and Dan will have sex in this house and they'll be like, do you have a condom? And we'll be like, yes, friend, go have fun. You know what I'm saying? Just a quick PSA to check your lubes and your condoms expiry date and make sure that they're all good to go. Are you ready? I mean, you've already kind of seen it, but da 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 da. This is my favorite feature. I'm just so pleased. Okay, so we will go through individual items, but first of all, as you can see here, Got my charging station, got two USBs per plug socket, so we are ready to rumble. As you can see here, these are the three toys from that weird sex toy video. We're holding on to them as like relics, basically. And then as we move down here, lots of stuff, lots of stuff. This is the sex toy collection. I'm obsessed. <laughs> So that's the bench. I absolutely love this charging station, although these two plugs I've taken from other parts of the flat, so I need to buy some more like USB charger things so this can be like a permanent sex toy charging station. <laughs> How ridiculous, I love it. Dun dun dun, this is the queue. So this is what we have so far. We have condoms, lubes, accessories, then we've got like penis toys, butt toys, and then it's like the suction-y vibrators, clitoral vibrators, and then it kind of like moves along to dual, like vaginal and clitoral, and then just vaginal, and then like more accessories and Dan's pajamas. Then over here, we have a charging station. These are all toys that even charged um, don't seem to work. This one, I cannot find the correct attachment thingy for. It's like one of these ones, but it doesn't go that deep. and I. Maybe I need to force it, but I don't know, but <laughs> we have a charging station and then over here I know terrifying by the time you're seeing this you've probably seen the context of the video of why this is here is this harness that I bought for a video but have never used and it's still got the label on so I'm kind of thinking I might just give it to a friend um, and then all of this stuff which I can't for the life of me Remember how it works? I think it was like in part of a gifted package or something, but it's some sort of restraint thing. But I'm not a fan of this material, like it feels too harsh. So also thinking of figuring out a home for it. And then this is another thing that's for this same video. So, and it just arrived, so it's not out of its package yet. So that's what is currently in the box. That is kind of like to be sorted or to make content around and then we can put away. And then over here, dun, 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 this is my bedside drawer of my like easy access faves. So we've got my Love Honey Bullet Vibrator, we've got my uh, Prudence Fine Bone, we've got my O-Nut, we've got my Lelo Sealer, a <laughs> blindfold, sex toy cleaner, lube. There are some nipple clamps in here, but that's just because I got them in an advent calendar and I've yet to try them. I think I will hate them, but they're just here to remind me, Hannah, come on, just for the lols, just like try them and see what happens. The thing is, is that it laid out like this, it's basically full, unless I start then piling stuff on top, which is not what I want to do because I want to be able to see everything, like a shop. Look at this, it's like a shop. There's also just like a random bag, some extra chargers, and I'm not sure what they're for. And these are all ones that don't have bags, so I'm kind of like, do I get bags? Also, cannot find the charger for this thing. This is one of my favorites. I've even like tested it with some other chargers that have this similar thing, but it like won't attach to both of them. Sad, so sad. Yeah, so I don't know whether I want like to add little organizers and dividers in here and then sort stuff out that way. Cause even over here, you can't really tell what's really going on. Oh my God, did you see this as well? Dun, dun, dun. I wanted to like hang stuff from it, but um, the moment that you then close it, it all falls off. But I just thought this is so funny. But this is it for today. I feel like this is a much better situation than we had before just in that box. I completely forgot to mention, but it goes without saying, I've got affiliate links and discount codes to lots of different places. So 15% off at Love Honey, I think like 10% off Self and More, who are an amazing independent 
sex toy shop in the UK. 7% off for Onut as well. Maybe more, but they'll all be linked in the description and any purchases that you make through any of my links, I get a little kickback from. But yeah, just wanted to let you know that there's discounts. You know, I want you to benefit from this as well because sex toys can be expensive. Okay, so let's start from over here. This is the Erosolator. It's got all of these different heads. I made a whole video trying this out. Um, it's very 1980s. And also it has a Europe plug, so I had to get a plug adapter for it. These are the other two from that like weird sex toys video. I mean, this I've just kept because I think it might be a fun prop. And then this is the um, Pico Bong Transformer, which is just a lot of fun and a yellow sex toy. And um, I wanna use it as like a halo. Do I just wear this for the rest of the video? Yeah, this is what's happening. Next up, we have some handcuffs. These are my favorite handcuffs because they are soft and they are Velcro. And if you're the person being handcuffed, then actually you can get out of these yourself. Also have a few different options for like blindfolds. This one I love because it's like really silky and soft. I think this is from Love Honey, but you do have to like tie it in a knot. So there's like a bit more admin to do, you know? This one was also, I think, from like a Love Honey advent calendar. And then this one, I actually think that I bought this at an airport and it's a sleep mask to wear on a plane. <laughs> a paddle, this came, yeah, this came from the advent calendar because like Love Honey do themed like advent calendars for sex toys and stuff. And so I think the starry stuff was the last year's one. This is a mini flogger that I made at an Eroticon event. I'm really hoping that Eroticon um, come back soon um, because I miss it. But it's this company called Kink Craft and they host workshops where you can craft your own kinky um, stuff. And so this is my mini flogger that I crafted and I love it. Okay, what have we got here? We have my Love Honey Magic Wand, love the power on this. And then I have this other wand, this is a new edition that's from Lello. Oh, look at that bad boy. I really love the grip on this one. It's like a joystick. Like, right, in here we have a Laura DiCarlo toy. It's got like two mechanics in it and it like spins around. So it's not like a vibrator. It's also not like a clit sucker. It's like a rotates around on your clit and then like back the other way and like. <laughs> this is also another Laura DiCarlo toy. I have a bag for it as well, but it like comes in this Beauty and the Beast case thing. This is the, the Osa. Oh, there we go. And it is an internal toy. Right, let's go, let's go. What's in here? Oh, this is um, my mystery vibe, which, oh, is a great toy for like couple stuff because the app has like so many different options in terms of like controlling every single like different like sensory bit in there. And it can like fold in all sorts of weird and wonderful ways. Some of these, I'm not entirely sure what's in the bag until we get to it. So what's in this? Ooh, okay, this is from Shush. Shush is an amazing independent sex toy store in London. Oh yes, I think I remember this. Is, does it have batteries in it though? Because it's like, no, it doesn't. I'm really intrigued by the way that it angles up like that, but I just haven't bothered getting batteries because, ugh, batteries. This one, I have no idea where it comes from and it honestly terrifies me. Like this has got to be a clit toy. I mean, maybe some people want to put that up inside them, but I'm looking at the shape of this and I'm like, no, thank you. This toy is essentially a rabbit. However, it's a rabbit, but with a clit sucker on it. And I was, so excited about this. And I need to give it another go because I just couldn't quite get the angle right. Right, what else have we got? Oh, my fun factory toy. This is a lot of fun. The settings are <laughs> fun. Literally the button says fun. The settings on this are wild. And my favorite thing is just that it kind of like does this like thrusting and this like tapping thing. It's cool. This is fun. This is like a mystery. I'm like, what are we gonna get next? What's in here? A classic Lello. This is a rabbit situation. Just look how beautiful that is. What have we got here? This is a whole bunch of toys that I don't think I've properly tried yet. I think, did I charge them? Yeah, so this is the motor and then you can get different um, things to put on it. So then you put this one on it and it becomes just like a little clip pebble kind of toy. You put this one on it and it becomes like a dildo, like vaginal vibrator kind of thing. I remember. So basically because the motor is down here, when I just turned it on then, I could only really feel it here. I couldn't really feel anything up here. All of the power is down here. So 
actually, maybe it would just be best in the baby one. So it's a nice idea, but then just the vibrations are just in your hand and not where you want them. Right, then we have a bunch of clip toys that are all loosey-goosey and don't have bags. This is the Wee Vibe. This is one of those like um, hands-free ones because the idea is that it goes inside and like on your clit at the same time and then it comes with this cute little remote con troll. Oh God, I haven't tried this. No, I have tried this one, but I'm just not a fan because it reminds me of a pig's hoof. And that's not what I want to be thinking about. Oh, this is the Lello Sona Cruise, which is like a clit sucky one. I'm not as big a fan of this as I am the Lello Sealer, which is in my bedside <laughs> table drawer because I want that one for easy access. This one just didn't do it for me. Here's my other clit sucker toy that I still haven't found the chargey thing for. Does it have any charge on it? This is the Pro Satifier 2. This was my first uh, clit sucker toy. And then in here we have, I think this is the Womanizer. This is another clit suckery one. Boom, this is the Lily Allen one. I love the colors of it. This is great. What else have we got here? Any other clit suckery toys? Oh, another Womanizer. This is like the OG Womanizer. I don't know if it's actually the OG Womanizer, but there you go. Boom, boom, boom. Does your girl really need two Womanizers? Probably not, but both of them have been on my clitoris, so I can't give them to a friend. Another Laura DiCarlo one. This one I was so curious about because it heats up and it's meant to kind of like be multi-purpose so it can be like clitoral vaginal but then it can also go up your bum if you want my bum hole is um out of business which is great but it does heat up i've only tried this once and i couldn't figure it out the buttons are here right this is the on off button and then these are all like the different settings for like vibrations and like the heat as well so you want to be able to press all of these buttons, right? And then this bit is to go on your clitoris because if you did it this way around, that's not enough right there to get on your clit, right? But then if this bit is on your clitoris, then if this is going into your vagina this way and it's pointing down, which for me is a no, 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 no. You want it going in like curving upwards but then if it's going into curving upwards like that then what i found is that this bit then was vibrating on my bum hole which is not for me it didn't work but i had such high hopes and maybe someone out there it would work for what's in here this is another durex bag but who knows if there's something from durex in here this is a bunch of butt toys that i bought for that um sex toy video that i made with Riyadh years ago at this point they're honestly just good to have for work to show on camera as an example of a butt plug and a prostate massager and anal beads. There we go. Make sure that your butt toys have a flared base because your ass likes to suck things up. We're onto the Tenga toys now. So this is one of the like disposable Tenga, what's it called? A vacuum cup. And it's basically just like you put it on a dick. Great. This is the reusable Tenga one, which is a lot more expensive, um, but it's like the flip hole zero. And this is the one with the, I'm fine. This is the one with the motor in it. But basically again, it's a, but then that's what the inside is. It's, I call it an obstacle course for your dick. But I love this because again, it's that Beauty and the Beast rose case. Okay, I think this is another penis toy, hot octopus. It's got like two different remote controls, this one, that are kind of like <laughs> Fitbits. We haven't like tried to sync them up yet, but the toy is good fun. And Hot Octopus are a great company because they really value like accessibility with their toys. So it may look a bit strange, but the idea behind this toy is that you could use it with a flaccid penis and then it would like get hard. So you don't need an erection in order to use this toy and like get pleasure from it and stuff. But yeah, fun times. So that's all of the sex toys. But then at the back here, I have like some Kegel balls. I got some shush Kegel balls as well. And my Jeju ones here as well. I did a entire video where I tried Kegel balls for, for a week and I reviewed these two. I have a fluffy thing, two really fun butt plugs that have never been used, but I've kept them just because I love the idea of having a big fluffy um, tail and also like a gem coming out your ass. But yeah, no, my arsehole cannot take it. We've got some card games. So we have 
kinky confessions, love honey card game, date night game, karma sutra game, and then um, this company called Desire, the erotic game for couples. I like Desire. Dan and I used their app at the beginning of our relationship loads, and it's lots of fun. And then they have like a, a card game version as well. And it's basically like, you're daring each other to like do kind of like sexy erotic things. It's kind of fun. And then back here we have like extra bags and chargers. We've got loads of lube. Oh, more games. We have a glow in the dark condom in here. Are they both glow in the dark? Yeah, two glow in the dark condoms in here. They're so fun. These are still in date luckily and I'm like, one day, I wanna use them again. Yeah, and then just lots of lubes. Good times. Oh my God, we did it. So that is my sex toy collection. And yes, it's a lot of toys. And yes, I have some that I have on my TBR that I would like to add to my collection. The first toy on my sex toy TBR is Enjoy's Pure Wand. It is beautiful steel. I love the idea of just like cold of that like temperature kind of thing, of it being like really cool. It's just like the, the shape of it, I'm so curious. And if I like that kind of like joystick motion, I like the idea of like being able to use it and like really like angle it in a certain way. Also, I so nearly got one of these because a few years ago I was at an event called Smut Slam in London where people do like smutty storytelling, like it's an open mic situation. And the first prize was an Enjoy Pure Wand and I came second. I was so close, so close to getting my hands on one. Um, but it's on my TBR and I will get one eventually and try it out. Next is from the company Dame. They also make a whole bunch of period products, but they also have lots of sex toy products. And I don't think I have a single sex toy from Dame, but the one that I'm really curious to try is called Eva. And it's got these little arms. And the idea behind it is that it is like a hands-free clip toy. And these little arms are meant to kind of like rest in the folds of your labia. And that's how it like stays in place. And so this is on my TBR because I'm just really curious as to like if that would work because obviously like vulvas and labias come in all shapes and sizes and one product is not gonna fit every vulva but I just want to try it for myself you know and then the final toy that is on my TBR I just discovered recently and it's mostly on my TBR because I think it's ridiculous and I'm like would that even work? And it's from this company called Lovability and it's the water slide. And the idea behind it is that like, a lot of people like to get off in the shower or in the bath, right? They have their like solo sex and like fun times when they're getting clean. And the idea behind the water slide is that it's an attachment to your like tap and then it helps to guide the water in a better direction so it like hits your vulva or like hits your clit. And I just love that somebody invented this. I think it's hilarious. Unfortunately, one, I don't really take many baths, but also two, our taps are like a different shape. Like I don't actually think the water slide would work on our taps, but I'm genuinely curious if anyone's tried it, if it actually works, because my instinct is that it probably doesn't. And also would it be better than just like a handheld shower head, you know? But yeah, there's my sex toy collection. Those are three toys that are on my sex toy TBR. Let me know in the comments what's on your sex toy TBR. And maybe if there is a toy that is on a lot of people's TBR, I will do the honorable thing and try it and review it for you. What is my job? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. This totally works as a um, statement necklace. That's what I'm going for with this. Bye. <laughs>